Fine Gael. Fine Gael was founded on September 8, 1933 following the merger of its parent party Cumann Na and Gaet Heel, the National Center Party and the National Guard popularly known as the Blue Shirts, a name still used colloquially to refer to the party. Its origins lie in the struggle for Irish independence and the pro-treaty side in the Irish Civil War and Michael Collins, in particular, is often identified as the founder of the movement. Fine Gael is generally considered to be more of a proponent of market liberalism than its traditional rival, Fianna Fáil. However, apart from brief minority governments, as in 1987, Fine Gael has rarely governed Ireland without a coalition that also included the Labour Party, a social democratic, centre left party. Fine Gael describes itself as a party of the progressive centre, which it defines as acting in a way that is right for Ireland, regardless of dogma or ideology. It lists its core values as equality of opportunity, free enterprise and reward, security, integrity and hope. It is strongly in favor of the European Union and opposed to physical force Irish republicanism. The party's youth wing, Young Fine Gael, was formed in 1977, and has approximately 4,000 members. Fine Gael is a founding member of the European People's Party and a member of the centrist Democrat International. The following is timeline of participation in governments and positions on proposed constitutional referenda. Although Ireland's political spectrum was traditionally divided along civil war lines, rather than the traditional European left-right spectrum, Fine Gael is described generally as a centre-right party, with a focus on law and order, enterprise and reward, and fiscal rectitude. As the descendant of the pro-treaty factions in the Irish Civil War, Fine Gael has a strong affinity with Michael Collins and his legacy. He remains a symbol for the party, and the anniversary of his death is commemorated each year in August. Fine Gael has, since its inception, portrayed itself as a party of fiscal rectitude and minimal government interference in economics, advocating pro enterprise policies. In that, they followed the line of the previous pro treaty government that believed in minimal state intervention low taxes and social expenditures. Newly elected politicians for the party in the Doyle have strongly advocated liberal economic policies. Lucinda Creighton, who has since left the party, and Leo Varadkar in particular have been seen as strong advocates of a neoliberal approach to Ireland's economic woes and unemployment problems. Varadkar in particular has been a strong proponent of small, indigenous business, advocating that smaller firms should benefit from the government's recapitalization program. Its former finance spokesman Richard Bruton's proposals have been seen as approaching problems from a pro-enterprise point of view. Its fair budget website in 2011 suggested that its solutions are tough but fair. Other solutions conform generally to conservative government's policies throughout Europe, focusing on cutting numbers in the public sector, while maintaining investment in infrastructure. Fine Gael's proposals have sometimes been criticized mostly by smaller political groupings in Ireland, and by some of the trade unions, who have raised the idea that the party's solutions are more conscious of business interests than the interests of the worker. The SIPTA trade union has stated its opposition to the Taoiseach Edna Kenny's assertion, in response to Ireland's economic crisis, that the national wage agreement should be suspended. Duck Kenny's comments had support, however, and the party attributes its significant rise in polls in 2008 to this. In spite of this opposition to Fine Gael from the left of the Irish political spectrum, the party, due to Doyle arithmetic, has never entered into national government without the backing of the Labour Party. Fine Gael Simon Coveney launched what the party termed a radical reorganization of the Irish semi-state company sector. Styled the New Economy and Recovery Authority, or new ERA, Coveney said that it is an economic stimulus plan that will reshape the Irish economy for the challenges of the 21st century. Requiring an 18.2 billion euro investment in energy, communications and water infrastructure over a four-year period, it was promoted as a way to enhance energy security and digital reputation of Ireland. A very broad-ranging document, it proposed the combined management of a portfolio of semi-state assets, and the sale of all other, non-essential services. The release of equity through the sale of the various state resources, including electricity generation services belonging to the ESB, Bornamona and Borgais, in combination with use of money in the National Pensions Reserve Fund, was Fine Gael's proposed funding source for its national stimulus package. The plan was seen as being the basis of a Fine Gael program for government. Seen as being the longer-term contribution to Fine Gael's economic plan, it has been publicized in combination with a more short-term policy proposal from FGTD, Dr. Leo Varadkar. This document, termed Hope for a Lost Generation, 
promises to bring 30,000 young Irish people off the life register in a year by combining a national internship program, a second chance education scheme, an apprenticeship guarantee and community work program, as well as instituting a German-style, workshare program. Commentary on the FG's economic proposals has generally been positive from some economic commentators including Eddie Hobbs and David McWilliams who have praised the proposals stating that they have considerable potential. Eamon Gilmore's Labour Party has launched policies which are seen to be broadly consistent with the FG platform. Fine Gael is seen as being a constitutional party, with members and public representatives always showing considerable deference to the institutional organs of the Irish state. The party leadership has been eager to be seen to engage in an ongoing constitutional debate in Ireland on the topic of political reform. The debate, which has been monitored by the Irish Times in its Renewing the Republic opinion pieces, has largely centered on the makeup of the Erechtus, the Irish Parliament. Fine Gael's Phil Hogan TD, now a European commissioner, has published the party's proposals for political and constitutional reform. In a policy document entitled New Politics, Hogan suggested creating a country with a smaller, more dynamic and more responsive political system, reducing the size of the Doyle by 20, changing the way the Doyle works, and in a controversial move, abolishing the Irish Senate, Sean Adairn. Aiming to carry out the party's proposals through a series of constitutional referendums, the proposals were echoed by then Labour leader Raymond Gilmore, when he proposed his own constitutional crusade at his 2010 party conference, shortly after. Fine Gael was traditionally social conservative for most of the 20th century, due to the conservative Christian ethos of Irish society during this time. Its members are variously influenced by Christian democracy, social liberalism, and social democracy on issues of social policy. Under Garrett Fitzgerald, the party's more social liberal or pluralist wing gained prominence. Proposals to allow divorce were put by referendum by two Fine Gael led governments, in 1986 under Fitzgerald and in 1995 under John Bruton, passing very narrowly on this second attempt. Fine Gael supported civil unions for same-sex couples from 2003, voting for the Civil Partnership and Certain Rights and Obligations of Cohabitants Bill 2010, and the party approved a motion at its 2012 Art Heist to prioritize the consideration of same-sex marriage in the upcoming Constitutional Convention. In 2013 party leader and Taoiseach Adna Kenny announced his support for same-sex marriage. The Fine Gael-led government held a referendum on the subject on May 22, 2015. The referendum passed. The electorate voted to extend full marriage rights to same-sex couples, with 62.1% in favor and 37.9% opposed. The party has run advertisements in GCN, Gay Community News, advertising its commitments to same-sex couples. Fine Gael was historically pro-life, supportive of the equal rights between fetus and the mother. It has however frequently disagreed with various pro-life organizations in Ireland, due to the fact that such organizations support a complete ban on abortion. In 1983, having initially supported the proposal, it came out in opposition to the Eighth Amendment to the Irish Constitution that was being submitted in a referendum in 1983, which nearly banned most off abortions. Under then-leader and Taoiseach Garrett Fitzgerald it campaigned for a no vote, arguing, on the advice of the Attorney General of Ireland Peter Sutherland, that the wording, which had been drafted under the previous government, when analyzed was ambiguous and open to many interpretations. This referendum resulted in the Eighth Amendment to the Irish Constitution, giving the unborn child a qualified equal right to life to that of the mother. Its stance conflicted with that of the Pro Life Amendment campaign, PLAC, and the Roman Catholic bishops, and Fianna Foyle, the largest party in the state at the time, but then in opposition. The party also campaigned against the 25th Amendment to the Constitution in 2002, which proposed to remove suicide as a grounds for granting a termination of a pregnancy. Suicide had been ruled as a ground, under the Eighth Amendment, in the ex-case judgment of the Irish Supreme Court. The amendment was rejected by Irish voters. In 2013 it proposed, and supported, the enactment of the Protection of Life During Pregnancy Act, 2013 which implemented in statute law the ex-case ruling of the Irish Supreme Court, granting access to a termination of a pregnancy where there is a real and substantial risk to the life, not the health, of the mother, including a threat of suicide. The enactment of the act was criticized by various pro-life groups and the Roman Catholic bishops, but supported by a majority of the electorate in polls, with many indicating they wished to see a more liberal law on abortion. In early 2018, the party was divided on repealing the Eighth Amendment. 
Kenny had pledged that his party's Erectus members will be given a free vote one issue. Leader Leo Varadkar was in favor of holding a referendum on repealing the Eighth Amendment, and campaigned heavily for a vote to repeal. Several other Fina Gael TDs, notably Kate O'Connell, are prominent supporters of the pro choice side. The Irish health system, being administered centrally by the Health Service Executive, is seen to be poor by comparison to other countries in Europe, ranking outside expected levels at 25th according to the Euro Health Consumer Index 2006. Fine Gael wants Ireland to break with the system of private health insurance, public medical cards and what it calls the two tiers of the health system and has launched a campaign to see the system reformed. Speaking in favor of the campaign, Fine Gael then health spokesman James Riley stated over the last 10 years the health service has become a shambles. We regularly have over 350 people on trolleys in A&E, waiting lists that go on for months, outpatient waiting lists that go on for years and cancelled operations across the country. Fine Gael launched its Fair Care campaign and website in April 2009, which stated that the health service would be reformed away from a costly ineffective endeavor, into a publicly regulated system where compulsory universal health insurance would replace the existing provisions. This strategy was criticized by Fianna Fáil's then Minister for Children, Barry Andrews. The spokesperson for Family Law and Children, Alan Shatter TD, robustly defended its proposals as the only means of reducing public expenditure and providing a service in Ireland more akin to the Canadian, Dutch and German health systems. Fine Gael is among the most pro-European integration parties in Ireland, having supported the European Constitution, the Lisbon Treaty, and advocating participation in European common defence. Under Edna Kenny, the party has questioned Irish neutrality, with Kenny claiming that the truth is, Ireland is not neutral. We are merely unaligned. The party's youth wing, Young Fine Gael, passed a motion in 2016 calling on the government to apply for membership of NATO. Fine Gael is a founding member of the European People's Party, EPP, the largest European political party comprising liberal conservative and Christian democratic national level parties from across Europe. Fine Gael's MEPs sit with the EPP group in the European Parliament, and FG parliamentarians also sit with the EP groups in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe and Committee of the Regions. Young Fine Gael is a member of the Youth of the European People's Party, YEPP. It is inferred from Fine Gael's relationship to European counterparts via membership of the European People's Party that FG belongs on the center right. The party conforms generally with European political parties that identify themselves as being Christian Democratic. Some younger parliamentarians are identified with the center right. The Irish Times supplement described frontbench member Leo Varadkar Titi as having explicitly center right views. At the 2011 general election, Fine Gael gained 25 seats bringing them to a total of 76. The party ran candidates in all 43 constituencies, and had candidates elected in every constituency except Dublin Northwest. Fine Gael won 19 seats in Sean and Aaron following the 2011 election, a gain of four from the previous election in 2007. At the 2009 local elections held on June 5, 2009, Fine Gael won 556 seats, surpassing Fianna Fáil which won 407 seats, and making Fine Gael the largest party of local government nationally. They gained 88 seats from their 2004 result. At 2009 European Parliament election held on the same day as the local elections, which saw a reduction in the number seats from 13 to 12 for Ireland, the party won four seats, retaining the largest number of seats of an Irish party in the European Parliament. This was a loss of one seat from its 2004 result. While Fine Gael was responsible for the initial nomination of the uncontested, first president of Ireland, Douglas Hyde, a Fine Gael candidate has never won an election to the office of president. The most recent Fine Gael presidential candidate, Gay Mitchell, finished fourth in the 2011 presidential election, with 6.4% of the vote. In 2004, Fine Gael supported the re-election of President Mary McAleese. In the 2016 general election the outgoing government consisting of Fine Gael and its partner the Labour Party was defeated. The previous government had the largest majority in the history of the state with a combined 113 seats out of the 166 seat Doyle Aaron. The aftermath of the general election resulted in months of negotiations for an agreement of government. A deal was reached with the main opposition and traditional rival Fianna Foyle to facilitate a minority Fine Gael-led government. Fine Gael now governs Ireland alone with eight independent members of the Doyle. 
Under Leo Varadkar's leadership, Fina Gale continued to do well in opinion polls, remaining marginally ahead of Fina Foil in terms of popularity. The Moriarty Tribunal has sat since 1997 and has investigated the granting of a mobile phone license to ESAT Telecom by Michael Lowry when he was Fina Gale Minister for Transport, Energy and Communications in the Rainbow Coalition of the mid-1990s. Lowry resigned from the cabinet after it was revealed at the Moriarty Tribunal that businessman Ben Dunn had paid for an IR £395,000 extension to Lowry's county Tipperary home. Lowry, now an independent TD, supported the Fianna Foyle Green Party government in Doyle Aran until March 2011. It was also revealed in December 1996 that Fina Gale had received some £180,000 from Ben Dunn in the period 1987 to 1993. This was composed of £100,000 in 1993, £50,000 in 1992, and £30,000 in 1989. In addition, Michael Noonan received £3,000 in 1992 towards his election campaign. Ivan Yates received £5,000, Michael Lowry received £5,000 and Sean Barrett received £1,000 in the earlier 1987 election. John Bruton said he had received £1,000 from Dunn in 1982 towards his election campaign, and Dunn had also given £15,000 to the Labour Party during the 1990 presidential election campaign. Following revelations at the Moriarty Tribunal on February 16, 1999, in relation to Charles Hockey and his relationship with Abe, former Taoiseach Garrett Fitzgerald confirmed that Abe and Ansbacher wrote off debts of almost £200,000 that he owed in 1993, when he was in financial difficulties because of the collapse of the aircraft leasing company, GPA, in which he was a shareholder. The write-off occurred after Dr. Fitzgerald left politics and Dr. Dot Fitzgerald also said he believed his then Fina Gale colleague, Peter Sutherland, who was chairman of Abe at the time, was unaware of the situation. The current leader of the Fina Gale party is Leo Varadkar, who, as well as being Ireland's youngest ever Taoiseach, is the country's first openly gay leader, first multiracial leader, Irish Indian heritage, and the first leader to come from an immigrant background. The position of deputy leader has been held since 2017 by Simon Coveney TD, the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade. The following are the terms of office as party leader and as Taoiseach, bolded, if applicable. Young Fine Gael, YFG, is the youth movement of Fine Gael. It was founded in 1976 by the then leader Garrett Fitzgerald. It caters for young people under 30 with an interest in Fine Gael and politics, in cities towns and third-level colleges throughout Ireland. YFG has 4,000 members nationwide. YFG is led by its national executive consisting of 10 members elected on a regional basis, and on a national panel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.